even lay down till dawn and prayed Fajr with an Aban and the Iqamah when the morning light became clear to him. Then he mounted Qaswa until he reached the sacred site. Then there he faced the Qibla, supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, made takbirs, i.e. saying Allahu Akbar, tahdeed, i.e. saying La ilaha illallah, and declared Allah's tawheed, and kept standing till the daylight was very clear. He then went quickly before the sun rose, taking Al-Fadil ibn Abbas behind him, and came into a valley of Al-Muhassir, which is between Muzdalifah and Mina, and urged the camel a little. Then he followed the middle road, which comes out at the greatest Jamara, until he reached the Jamara beside the tree. Then, from the bottom of the valley, he threw seven small pebbles at it, saying, Allahu Akbar, each time he threw a pebble. With the pebbles being the size of those used in a slingshot, which are larger than chickpea, but smaller than a hazelnut, he then went to a place of sacrifice, and sacrificed 63 camels with his own hand. Then he gave some to Ali, who sacrificed remaining, and he made him a partner in his hadith. After that, he ordered that a piece of flesh from each camel to be put in a pot. When it is cooked, two of them ate some of it and drank some of its broth. Then the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa mounted and went quickly to the house, i.e. the Kaaba. He prayed Dhuhr in Mecca. He came to Bani Abdul Muttalib, who were supplying water zamzam. And said in language, draw water, uh, Ibn Muttalib, we, were it not that people would take from you the right to draw water, I would draw it al along with you. So they handed him a bucket and he drank from it. Narrated by Imam Muslim. He used to perform the manasik hajj rituals and say to the people, take from me your manasik. Therefore the best and the most complete hajj is done by following the Prophet ﷺ and his companions.